Okay, hi guys. I'm going to stitch out uh, the reindeer, reindeer with uh, Christmas lights. And uh, it's this is done in two hoopings. And it's a 5 by 7 design. The first hooping is 5 by 7 I believe the second hooping, everything fits in a 4 by 4 But, um, and then the pieces are cut out and glued on for a 3D, 3D effect. Boy, I can really talk today. Um, okay, so the first thing is I've got cutaway stabilizer hooped and I've stitched out the first color change which is um, the placement line for the ornament. So now I'm gonna cover that with vinyl. Just for a little added stability, it can be stitched. It, it can can be completely uh, felt, but I like the stability that a vinyl base gives it. So now the next color change is the placement line for the center circle of the design. So I'll go ahead and stitch that, and um, then I'm going to cover it with felt and run the tack down and then trim around it. The satin stitching isn't going to be done until after the reindeer is added to the ornament because there's uh, the end of the of the reindeer needs to be uh, it needs to be finished off by the circle of uh, the circle applique on the ornament. So you, you'll see what I mean as I keep going. So um, okay I'm going to run the placement line for the center circle. Now I'm going to cover the placement line with my felt and then I'm going to run the tack down. Now the center circle is tacked on and I'm going to just carefully trim around the uh, tacked down line. And you can be very careful not to clip into the stitches. If you do clip into the stitches, immediately stop put your hoop back on the machine and rerun the tack down line. That might save your applique. Okay. Now 
Now normally the next step would be to run the satin stitch, but like I said, the reindeer is going to go on first because he butts up against the bottom of the, down here, the of the ornament, and I want the edges to be caught in the satin stitching. Okay, now there's a couple little places I'm just going to trim up with my nippers. It's a pretty big satin stitch, so it should cover it, but better to be safe than sorry. Okay, also... You may have noticed on my hoops that I have an arrow on them. This is my clue to make sure that this is how I'm putting the hoop back on the machine. In this instance where everything looks exactly the same, it would be very easy to put the ornament in like this and then it's going to be off. So the arrow is just my double check. Okay, that was good. So the next step, the next color change is going to put the antlers on for the reindeer. So I'll stitch that and come back and show you. Okay, there are the reindeer antlers. Okay, uh, this connecting line is going to be hidden underneath the reindeer, so you don't need to worry about it. Um, it just connects the two antlers, so there's no jump stitch. Okay, so the next um, thing I'm going to do is run the, pl the placement line for the reindeer, cover that with, cover the placement line with felt, run the tack down, then trim around the reindeer, and then uh, run the satin stitching. So I'll, I'll do the reindeer and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, there's the satin stitching around the reindeer. You can see it only... It left the bottom and um, the side of his ear open because that's going to be caught in the satin stitching, which I'm going to do right now for uh, the circle. So I'll run that and I'll come back and show you. Okay, so you can see the satin stitching all the way around the circle and um, it, it caught the bottom of the reindeer and his ear. So the next uh, color change is going to put the cheeks on the reindeer and um, I'll st stitch that and come back and show you. Okay, there are the cheeks on the reindeer. Now the next step is going to be the placement stitch for uh, the nose. And the nose is a bean stitch up, okay, so there's only two steps, not three. It's the placement stitch, cover the placement stitch, run the tack down, and then trim around the tack down. So I'll do that and I'll come back and show you. Okay, there's the bean stitch applique nose. So the next color change is going to add the eyes and the eyebrows. So I'll stitch that and come back. Okay, there are the eyes and the eyebrows. Now the next color change is gonna put the two uh, Snowflakes in, there's one here and one there. So I'll stitch that and come back. Okay, I've added the two snowflakes. Now the next color change is going to put the grommet placement right at the top. And um, then I'll come back and um, the final step then is to put the backing underneath the, the hoop and run the final stitch. But I'll come back after the uh, grommet stitch. Okay, now I've done the grommet stitch. Now I'm going to take my hoop, flip it over, and put my backing 
this piece of vinyl has a little wrinkle in it but it's going to be cut off because i'm so i'm still using it that part of it won't be seen and then i'm going to pin my vinyl out of the stitch area I don't like to use tape on this machine with this machine because I've had it get gummed up before it got caught on the needle plate and gummed up the machine so for me it's just easier just to pin the backing on if I can't just slide it underneath the hoop which if I'm doing a, a felt back backing a lot of times I just slide it underneath the hoop and don't and it just kind of sticks in place but with vinyl I am going to pin it make sure everything is flat I usually do all four corners because I've had it get flipped up and caught as well. So if I pin all four corners, then hopefully that is enough to keep it in place. Okay, I'm gonna put it back on my hoop, uh, my machine. And then I'm gonna run the uh, Final bean stitch, which will at attach the backing to the front. Okay, before I close out of the design, I always double check my backing to make sure it's on there correctly, and it is. So then all that's left to do is just unpin it, unhoop it, and cut it out, and then uh, set it aside until we're ready to assemble everything. So I will go cut this out and come back and we'll stitch the second hooping. Okay, I'm back and um, I've cut out the, um, the reindeer with lights ornament, uh, the first hooping, and um, now we're going to work on the second hooping, and that's going to be the lights for around the, the frame of this. So I'm just going to set my ornament, ornament aside, and I've hooped a uh, cutaway stabilizer, and I've stitched out the uh, placement stitch for the the lights there's gonna be five of them so I'm gonna cover that with vinyl and then I will do uh, one of these on camera and then um, turn the camera off and and finish the other four because they're identical I'm just gonna do them different colors so once the uh, vinyl is on covering your placement lines you want to run the first placement stitch for the first light. So I'll go ahead and do that.
these are bean stitch applique so there's only two parts to them there's um, just the, the placement line cover the placement line uh, run the tack down and then trim so now I'm going to just cover them this placement line run the tack down And then you take your hoop off the machine and trim around the tack down. And then that's the first part of the light. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll run the other uh, remaining four and then um, I'll come back and do the base of the lights and um, I'll show you that when I'm done with the lights. Okay, there are all the uh, lights. Now the next part is going to uh, do the base of the light. So um, I'll do the first one on camera and then finish up the remaining four. And again, it's a bean stitch except this um this time it has there's another step in between that'll put the uh the lines on the light base so it'll be um placement line cover it with i'm, I'm actually going to use gray vinyl and then uh, run the decorative stitching and then run the outline and then trim so like i said i'll do the first one on camera so you can see and then I'll turn the camera off for the other ones. So I'm going to run the placement line. Now I'm going to cover the placement line with my vinyl and it's going to run the, uh, the details. Now I'm going to run the, the actual tack down, which is an outline. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim away the vinyl. I made uh, that two different colors in the design in case you did not want to stitch out the, de the details or you wanted to use a different color from the, the outline. I'm using the same color, but you have a choice. Okay, 
there you go that's the base of the light so i'll go ahead and do the other four and then uh come back and show you what to do next okay so there's all five lights done now i'm going to put my hoop back on the machine and um i'm going to place my vinyl underneath the hoop for the backing just like that and then I'm gonna run the uh, the final bean stitch to attach the the front to the back and um, once that's done I'm gonna unhoop the, the design and I'll cut them out and I'll come back and I'll show you how to assemble the ornament okay I'm back I've got everything all cut out and so what I'm gonna be doing is arranging the lights around the ornament and I'm going to use a piece of twine to um, to look like the cord so basically I'm going to be hot when I hot glue the lights on I'm going to have a piece of string underneath them or twine underneath them and kind of connecting them around the ornament so it looks like a string of lights so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and um then you can kind of see how it, obviously it doesn't matter where you place them it's your ornament but this is how i'm going to do it so i think the easiest way is just going to be kind of squeeze the twine together put a dab of hot glue on the back and then put the string on there and then probably another dab of hot glue before I put the ornament on the or before I put the light on the ornament okay so I'll go ahead and do this hopefully my hands will cooperate okay so I'm not using very much hot glue at all just a little bit Okay, so where I'm going to want this is right about there. You need this press down for just a second and then it should hold and then moving on to the next one again I'm going to kind of do the same thing kind of pinch it together before I glue it onto the back of the light Now, you don't have to use the twine as as a string and it, it will be cute with without it I just thought that this would look good okay Okay, so I'm, I'm going to put a little more hot glue on the back of the light. And then stick it on the ornament.
okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three and in, in the same way and I'll come back and show you when it's all done okay I'm back so this is how I finished it off I just kept putting the the string underneath where the light would go and hot glue it in place and then when I came to the ends I just clipped the end close and tucked it underneath the first and last light okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and punch a hole in the grommet placement and attach my grommet My carpet dial needs to be sharpened if that's even possible. I read online and I haven't tried this yet, but I read that if you punch uh, aluminum foil, it will miraculously sharpen it. I don't know if that's true or not. So, okay, that grommet goes in and the backing goes on. And then I'm going to use the other end of the crocodile and crimp the grommet in place. Okay. And then I'm going to just do a standard hanger on here. So I've got a piece of twine, folded it in half, got a piece of painter's tape on it, on the ends, twisted together so it's kind of like a needle. I'm going to go through the grommet. and then go through the loop and pull it tight. Okay. And then I'm gonna thread my beads on. Kind of as a standard rule, if I have, if it's a five by seven ornament, I use three beads. If it's a four by four, I use two. Obviously you can do whatever you want. That's just kind of what I, fell into the habit of. Okay, once the beads are on, tie a knot so the beads don't slip and move all over the place. Put the knot as close to the beads as you can and then about three inches up is where I usually tie another knot. And then that's what I use to hang on the tree. And then just clip off the end. There you go. So there he is. Reindeer with lights. Hope you like him.